Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be watching Fancy Oddities by Internet Student. At first, for first, for first, for first, first time I thought it's like incognito mode, but no, it's literally from the legit channel, Internet Student. Bro, let's go into country. What does it even mean? Three, two, one, go. Brought to you by NordVPN. All right. I saw the original, so alright, that makes sense. React to these videos, but please wait 48 hours from initial video day before re-uploading to YouTube. Alright, okay, okay, this is important. The following is not an endorsement, invitation, or conditioning of harassment toward the individual feature in this video. Oh! Oh, that is weird. Why would anyone harass people in a video? He usually uses a stock footage. Why would anyone? What's up, dude? Oh. It's you. You've completed the crash course on theater and wine, have you? Feeling smug, are we? Yes. Deserving of love, perhaps? Worthy of eye contact. Okay, all Let's right, keep... what's up? But there's still a lot more work to be done. What? Look here. These shoes are made from real Italian leather. This bag is made from the leather of real Italians. <laughs> Wait, how much jungle does Italia have that they produce so much leather? How many hunters do they have? Not impressed. Or How about juice? this fur coat? It's made from the wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> and Xbox. I was gonna the... say, is, is he gonna say something really? No, he's gonna say something. It's so fucking the wolf out of... Doesn't even make... of Wall Street. Oh my god. An Xbox with the original PT demo. Fuck still. you. Fuck you. Those are still being sold Storm. on eBay. Those are just a God signed damn, first edition copy of Moby Dick with its little known sequel, Moby Ball. <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> what the fuck is he using? The squid. Keep the goddamn humor or some shit. Did you oh, get this it? is amazing. Oddities. Weird stuff. I mean, the, the first section's on perfume. That's not gonna level with you. I kind of got distracted and uh, we went off topic. I don't even know what this is about anymore. What was it? Here's my Netflix stand-up special. It should explain everything. No way. No way, right? Ha, ha. Oh my god. That's gonna be a hard act to follow. That is actually... Okay, I think I know this guy. Is this... That oh my god. Some very good one-liners. But I've got some jokes lined up. Ahem. <clears throat> Question. Why is perfume so expensive? Because you have to pay perfume. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why do they call it? <laughs> that was a grand that joke. Come on. Have you what? Why do they call it cologne? Cologne. Have you ever smelt one of those? It ain't great. <laughs> I don't get it. Might must not be working. Uh, deodorant in this market? Oh my fucking god. Get the Fuck off the stage, man! Oh god. Is this thing uh, on? <laughs> that does that was that just sting. I'm too high and even that stung. Let me tell you the oh, story god. of perfume. See, to be fancy, Did people you, wanted to rent. stink good. But oh. people naturally stink bad. It's science. So in the All beginning, right. people went to the garden to find the best smelling things that they could. Here's a photo of the oldest perfume bottles ever found. And what's inside? Just garden stuff that smells nice. <laughs> Lavender. But we did not just stop right? at that. Because Holy shit, what the fuck? Why do they look so sleek and like so chic? They look so fucking amazing looking. They took bo the bottle and shit. I bet a cheap knockoff like uh, perfume and it was like... The box was probably more expensive than the, the perfume. The story of perfume is the story of progress. Holy shit. By the time Cleopatra came around, perfume science had really advanced. You see, Cleopatra loved perfume. How the fuck did he give physics to the trees? Oh, he's using By the time Cleopatra. What the fuck? 
Cleopatra. That's so cool. Cleopatra came around, perfume science had really advanced. You see, Cleopatra loved perfume. In fact, it was said that she had a whole perfume factory. The all factory, I believe they called it. <laughs> Why? But this factory wasn't just mashing flowers. They were using emulsifiers. Good air? That doesn't... What does it do? Like, is it... What the fuck is it emuli for? Adding resins, creating tinctures. Yo, Cleopatra's very own Chanel No. 1 hell. contained cardamom, cinnamon, olive oil, and myrrh. God damn it, man. Fucking ginseng. Number No. 1 contained cardamom, cinnamon, olive oil, and myrrh. So we've gone from garden to mean? pantry. <laughs> so we've gone... Can you... Can you... Can you... S I don't even know what is the main topic is, so I could use my general knowledge. Yeah, those are those are you use this. Number the, one contained cardamom, what? cinnamon, olive oil, okay. and myrrh. Myrrh is a type of tree resin. Oh shit! Yeah, it looks like one. Oh, those are actually delicious. We use them as like alternative to gum because they last longer. So we've gone from garden to pantry. Dude. And she loved spritzing the stuff everywhere. Supposedly even spraying it all over the sails of her ship. <coughs> well, that's a waste. That way, people could smell her from miles off as she sailed the Nile. That's actually the early nice. Day. If you're on the beach and instead of like fish and like shit, you smell, it's like smell like fucking perfumes of Cleopatra from a ship afar. Like, uh, it's nice for a minute. It's like, uh, what happened to nature? I figured out the, the formula fish. for perfume. Effectively, there are three main components. Fuck? Water, alcohol, and the most important bit, the aromatic oils. And by the All way, right. perfume and cologne are actually the same thing, but in different ratios of these ingredients. Oh, so the, okay. Okay, so the big bottles that you use to spray and walk into, that's a cologne. I use colognes more often, and the sprays. Perfume is just the small ones that you, like, take a bit of and put it on your hand, and then you basically put it on everywhere. Yeah, that is very, very more smelly. So yeah, makes sense. I, I now understand the English of the wording so much better because of this, because I thought they're the same. I don't know how to say at, so that's basically perfume. Ingredients. By the 1600s, they were trying all sorts of different things. Some things went well. Holy dude. shit, let's cook. Pine. <laughs> Pine. Let's try it. What about orange? I call it new car smell. But once global trade Holy opened up, shit. our taste became a movie more about making exotic. Out of the pantry and into the petting zoo. For you see, it turns out that animals have been hoarding all of the most bestest perfume. Oh god, no. Oh. And smells. Yes. In the olden days, a bunch of manly men would brave very rough seas in order to pull aboard sperm whales. Now, they would cut open the digestive tract and pluck out a secretion of bile called ambergris, or in English, grey amber. Sometimes they would... Yo! That is like a fucking final boss or something. What the fuck? You hunt the veil, you open the veil, you do a fucking ninja pull up of its internal organs, and it's in insanely cruel, man. What the actual fuck? Is this being done, or is it, are these most of these like done synthetically nowadays? In the digestive tract, this is just pluck out brutal. a secretion of bile oh called ambergris, or in English, grey amber. Sometimes, mm -hmm. they would harvest the rest of the whale, but eventually, ambergris became so valuable that it was simply more economical to 27 this is more expensive than weed, dump bro. the carcass back in the ocean and collect the next batch. Like when you kill a racehorse for its prize-winning jizz and- What? That is- okay, that is, the, that is the cruelty come from, when you use one part of the animal and discard it, it's like what the, what the fucking cat does, or a, like an angry fox does, it's just- Annoying. Just leave it there on the it's track. Like it's more to dark right. sports. Quick science lesson, eggheads. Ambergris comes from the gross part of the whale. <laughs> and when the whale eats something quite sharp, let's say human bones, 
The ambergris forms around them and protects the lining of the gut. That's the ambergris role. That way, as the sharp thing continues down the intestines, the Oops. whale doesn't get poked. But if ambergris comes from a whale's digestive tract, what does it smell like? Surely not good. How does when it smell good, though? it's dry, it smells good, kind of woody and earthy. But when it's wet, it smells like ass. But it's not okay. actually the smell that's the useful function. Ambergris is a fixative. So what it does is heighten and bring out the scent of other things. These flowers? How the fuck did they figure that out? <clears throat> Who? How the fuck did they figure that out? Who did that first? That even tried to smell that beer? How was it even dry in the beginning? When it's always wet inside? What the fuck? This is like some science that shouldn't have an origin. Mm, they smell what? all right, but add some ambergris and... Ah, that's the one. That is now, once perfect. they figured this out, they realized, oh, there's a whole bunch of things we can use a fixative for. And they got quite gross with it. They added it to food. Just a touch. In fact, it was said that King Charles's favorite dish was ambergris on eggs. But they didn't stop there. They added it to rum. They added it to coffee. They added it to cigarettes and smoked it. Huh? Okay, that is just... This is getting too much. Oh, no. Is that a... And they used it as you. an aphrodisiac. Oh, get out. Now, some people will say that the whale is a mammal. But that's not strictly true. It is, in fact, a fish. Just look at the tail. Well, and you may it have is a mammal fish. That there are a lot fewer of them these days. Which, although a relief, because their absence helps offset the sea level change, climate, whatever, we were worried that we might... <laughs> that, is, that is not... That is not... Too much! Oh my god, that is okay. It's, I know this is absolute satire, but holy shit! If someone believes that, they're an, they're morons. As if the whale upset the fu oh my right, god, bro. So we said no more hunting whales. Jesus, for and then they go kill them because of that climate. Whatever. <laughs> so we were worried that we might run out, so we said no more hunting whales for Amber. But did that stop the perfumers? No. They immediately asked, "Hey." Do you think there are any other animals that smell kind of weird? Oh, God. Yes. Turns out the musk deer has some potential. Now, All we right. hunt the male you musk deer specifically more, because God. it has a particular gland called a musk pod, which, when dried out, looks like this. And it uses it to mark its territory and attract mates. Oh, shit. Now, don't worry. Unlike ambergris, this doesn't smell like ass. Instead, it smells like ammonia and piss. Well, shit. <laughs> and you just can't get a smell like that at home. So we started hunting them to the point where they were a protected spirit. Uh, oh my god. So the authority said, you have to find a different animal. Well, you can eat them. At least deer is, you can just eat them all. I haven't seen anyone eat a whale, unless maybe in like, uh, South Pole or something, like Antarctica. You usually don't eat whales. So from there they moved on to Hyrax feces. One of the most feared and dangerous animals in all oh of Africa. Oh my god, what the fuck? And it was the it's inspiration so adorable, for the original the Lynx Afro. I don't even know Lynx is a character in HSR. <laughs> but that now, like their feces, when dried, is called Hyracium, or Africa Where is stole. it? Is that like the... They look like but bunny it's ones. just these ones. They have oh, other no. stones in Africa. Come on, guys. Now, the smell is fairly similar to deer musk, but unlike the deer, the Hyrax doesn't need to be killed or disturbed for their feces. Oh! They're just giving it away. In fact, Hyrax even have a communal toilet. Oh, thanks. It's used for generations, which Thank makes it you, very nature. easy to collect up all the good stuff. But it's not just the Hyrax, I've got other animals. What? Remember those civets from the Vara as as <laughs> Oh, not the, not the poor one. that thing's anus. And Mom, it was a fake Mom, one. get the bottle, get the bottle. Turns out it's the anal gland of the civet that's actually the important smelling bit. <laughs> Who's figuring... 
God has this fucking weird sense of shitting humor, man. What the fuck? Let, oh yeah, let's pull all the good, sh- good smelling stuff in their butt. <laughs> oh shit, dude. It's gonna be so much fun for them. Is, I, is audio is gonna work? Is audio working? Because I converted to Windows 11 <clears throat> because I want to play Android games easier. This out. Well, we use ads. the good parts of the animal. The, it's the bacon <sighs> part of the bee. <sighs> you know? Anyway, it's the ass that produces all the delicious <laughs> musk. It smells like shit. Well, of course it does. But is it going to be good better in the future? But it must be good for something because it goes for $4,000 a kilo. Hmm. That's 500 grams, though. But we ain't done yet. That's half you know a you just killed a beaver and you cut open its right... Oh my god! The reason it smells so good is because of a little gland called the castor sac. Okay. Which makes a yellowy scum-like substance called castorium. And it is used to waterproof the beaver's fur coat and also mark its territory. It is also... Wait, does it work in water? So wait, does it just... What does it do in the water? Because how do you musk the water? How the fuck does your other beaver gonna smell the fucking butter? Coat and also mark its territory. It is also very fragrant. And you know what that means. Right. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> and in this case, fuck castorium me. is more kind of leathery with smoky hints of vanilla. But unfortunately today, you're not allowed to harvest the beaver. They're walking around Thank very you. smugly. Because that like was so gross. Animals. But you know what? We don't need them. Because we have a synthetic version of castorium now, and it's- Oh, thanks, fuck well. scientists! And you know what? We've got a synthetic for the whale, the deer, and the civet now. Oh, we're thank you fucking god, the science! Modern day, we've got a synthetic version of practically everything. And even better, the advancement of synthetics has opened up a huge range of smells that were never possible to dis- What?! This is- this is- this is satire, right? Because I think I see two copies. Like this? Is oh shit! Oh my god, bro! I can't, I can't see a copy. Oh, okay, these, these three are, these, these are, these are copies. Co- these are copies. But again, maybe the bottles are covered. Okay, the atrazine. Still, maybe the the, 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 and the result perfume is in it. some very silly perfumes. You know that bacon bit of the pig? We got that now. Windex smelling. Pretty much anything Bro. you can think of, really, someone has created Fungo. a fragrance of it. In some instances, we're even beating nature herself. For example, you know those roses that you get at the florist? And then people go, ah, oh, they smell beautiful. But they actually, don't. those roses are not bred to smell good. They're so specialized for good looks, longevity, and disease yeah, resistance smell good. that they've practically altogether lost their smell. So often what the florist will do is add an additional scent to the flower. Oh, maybe pen. ours doesn't. And typically a synthetic rose perfume is used because it lasts longer and doesn't dry out the flower. Okay, because, okay, using perfumes, a lot of it is considered like a crime. Because people fast and those particles can break it fast. And when people, like, feel a obscure like area with so many perfumes in the bazaar and shit it becomes it be- brings like headaches and like migraines and might even like uh, pass people out so it's banned to do that especially in the flower shop all flowers should be natural so i i know that the red roses don't really smell that well there is there are some weird a small uh like viney flowers with white petals um, here and there, those uh, smell so fucking good, still, like even in the current era. Those uh, smell really, really well. Picking. And typically a synthetic rose perfume English. is used because it lasts longer and doesn't dry out the flower. Yep, mm. we're just that good. And what's the future That's for crazy, perfumes? Though. Well, I don't know. But what I do know is it's going to involve some comedy gold. <laughs> anyway, where was Math I? factory, though. Oh, yeah. My wife asked me for Chanel number five, and I was like, What is a Chanel? Right now, I'm watching the football. Is that Chanel that everyone says? <laughs> you know, on the, like on the television. <laughs> oh my 
Okay. Okay, that was a nice double entendre, but was it though? <laughs> that was nice. If if it was Laugh Factory people, someone would laugh. Some some two people would laugh. Like, come on. And then the rest would like chill out and laugh. Get you out of the Laugh Factory I'm assholes. Concerned. That if was funny. For Kramer, it's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Air time. This oh Christmas, fuck. She works in the big city. Busy professional. My career, this and that. But she's oh, going good. home for Christmas. Small towns are the worst. I'm a big city career gal. Not go. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> I am now. And Jesus. she's about to learn the meaning of Nord. What is this? Is Skyrim 2024? Time of year with a 30-day money-back guarantee if you go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian. Ha 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 ha. Soon I will have installed public Wi-Fi in all of Nordville. And once they use it, their private data will be exposed. Oh my god! Governor Craven's got this town by the ball. It wouldn't! And I can't believe that big city company you work for Windows Defender is already him. Come on, we have to put up the Nordmus lights for the big Nordmus festival. Nordmus? What? <laughs> what the fuck is Nordness? <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> so cute, but I'm a city girl. Girl, you sound like you're in love. Oh I thought God! I knew what Nordmus meant, but it means. Is this so Get out! You. It's like the end of March. It's always Nordmas time of year with Nord's huge discount on a two-year plan. Use the URL. Okay, four Nord bonus Nord months is still shit. Come on, guys. Can we get an offer that is like, oh, you pay for 10 months, but you get 12 months. Why do you want us to get, like, you know, a year? Some of us are not going to be alive after a year. Or some of us not going to be having the same connection or the same country after a year. Like... Just chill, chill out with these plans. A story of a 30 day money back guarantee is the best VPN in town. Now I love small Shit. town. And I'm in love with Nordman. But I can't leave behind big city Korea. True love. And oh really God. good VPN. What Don't the fuck are you? Too much. You gotta take a chance. Boss, I don't care about making partner at the firm anymore. I found my new home. Oh Very my god! I is spreading across the city. Nordmus will be you ruined. Shit, get out! Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm your oh, job. Need a to get... Oh my fucking god! You, Nordman, with this Nord-themed brick. Oh my! You, Nord. He killed the first guy in the I fucking picture. He introduced us to all in the first place. Watch the international net. He's Nordman. Catalog. Like it's seriously, a just Nordmus not a good person. Oh. Because I I love Raycon, man. man. To get a huge deal on a two year. That dude, that dude had a backstory. That dude had a father. Nordman had children, and then his wife died, and then he was in Asia, and then he's back. He's still bothering him. Almost four bonus Nordmas months. Ads over. You know that ad makes me think about so the it's time like brain. I nearly had a wife. Feels like a lifetime ago now. What happened? I was in Japan, living the oh, digital Fiji. nomad Fiji. lifestyle. Fiji. I had a startup selling seashells down by the seashore. But I broke the one rule of being a digital nomad. Why? What? Oh, I God! Mad. Digitally. And that's when I saw her. <laughs> it was love. What the fuck is that? First sight. I remember her laugh. Look <laughs> at that laugh on that face! It's, it's, it's so cursed! That is so cursed! I remember her laugh. Why is it this cursed? Come on! I'm so sorry, but this is so cursed! Holy Every morning, fuck. breakfast in bed. That actually but fucking the truth was, I had no money. We couldn't live on love alone. Yeah, you both, sister. So I left. I sought out to make my fortune. I tried Ooh. so many things. Oh my god. I actually think this sucks. I'm out. Alright. And I bet you're wondering how I finally Holy shit. struck was that, it rich. Was that, was that American half talent? What was it? What? I actually so think rude. this sucks. I'm out. And I bet you're wondering how I finally struck it rich. Well. Truth is, I'm the guy 
who invented or the Joe Rogan that. podcast. Wait. I, who invented the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> yeah, how? Once I became a gajillionaire, I how went back to that need to, elaborate? to try and find her. But instead, I hit her with my bow. Oh my god! We Thank god you did that. What the fuck was that? But she had a secret. One she took to her grave. That I was sworn not to tell. She was already dead. She's not around, so... <laughs> Dude, she was a mermaid! Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense. Come on, champ, we're going to Japan. And here's where it all begins. In the year 2022. Okay, yeah. It's a Tuesday, okay. probably. And I haven't watched enough anime. Hiroshi Kinoshita is looking up some fantastical animals in the oh, national shit. yokai Those are dictionary. Not animals. <laughs> it's like a <they're> beast. <laughs> yokai. <laughs> oh my nature, right? god. And he comes across a photo negative of a mermaid mummy. Oh my god. He says photo. Bro, that's fucking water type HP attack and defense too. Oh, the defense is so high. Vulnerable to net chum and bears. All right. Ch what is chum? Negative of a mermaid mummy. Oh my god. He photo. Arc. Right. Negative of a mermaid so cool. mummy. Oh my god. He says in Japanese. Upon seeing the mermaid, <laughs> he knows that he must track it down. He must form a team. Researchers, assemble. All right. So he gets together the best damn crew that he can. Is this this From this is University real? University of Science and Arts. At <laughs> <University> <laughs> what the fuck, Japan? Okay, Japan is like actually having chill. Maybe you know, put the people in prison, like. Some people who should be in prison Arts put them in prison. The Okiyama you know, so many people who got light sentences for some of the crimes they and did. And he plans to because, track holy down shit, the mermaid mummy, wherever it has escaped to. All right. Now, it doesn't take him long to figure out that it's being held at the Inuin Temple in Asakuchi. You know the one. So he struts up to the sacred building. And there at the back of the temple is a fireproof safe. And inside of that, is an old wooden box, and inside the old wooden box was uh, a mermaid. Oh my god! Forty years. We found it. We found a real a one. Box. But where did it come from? Well, alongside the mermaid was a note that dated back from 1903, and it said. A dried human fish, aka Ningyo, was caught almost 300 years ago over in the seas of Tosa. It was then dried out and taken to Osaka. And from there, it was passed around to many different people until it arrived at the temple. Now, the Ningyo have an important history in Japan, and sightings Great. of these half fish, half human creatures have cropped up all across the country. Kinoshita himself had personally tracked down 13 of them all across Japan, usually kept in museums. Okay, I'm too high, so I probably I think that was real for a second, because like, what? What the fuck are those? Are those like Chinese DNA, like infusion, like Failures or something? What the fuck are those? Like seriously, what are those? Are those maybe just myths and, and like AI created images? However, what you I might not know what is that fuck? traditionally they have been associated with bad omens. Of course, look at them! And everyone knows the infamous tale of Yao Bikuni. I don't. But I'll recite it to you just Enlighten in us, thank you. So the story you. is that one day a poor fisherman catches the biggest fish of his life. Uh -huh. It was a strange looking fish. <laughs> oh my God. Fish and its head face. was almost human like. What the fuck? But he brought the fish home and invited all of his friends and family to come over for a feast to celebrate his largest catch. You know, he's got his arms stretched out like this. He's like, it was this big. No, it was this big. I swear, it was this big. But yes, that Very makes sense. But it had a fucking face. Did it talk? Did it make weird noises? It has a fucking face. Winter. One of the guests sneaks into the kitchen to see just how big it was. This big? I can't believe it. 
and he discovers that it is actually a Ningyo. Oh no, he says in Yo, it has three eyes on his body too. Like that is weird. Perfect Japanese. Now he quickly warns the other guests, Ningyo. don't eat it. And he warns them just in time. Taishi. They've got their fork like right up to their mouth. Taishi eating that. No, everyone would fucking eat that shit immediately. Who the fuck? People in Japan don't do that shit. You eat it immediately. You make noise to make sure the person think you actually enjoy it and love it. So I think that that's the noise in Asian culture is like the more, more noise you make with your mouth, it's like more appropriate. Here, if you do that, they beat you up. Because it's like, oh my god! <laughs> Why do you close your mouth Taishi, and you eat don't it? do it. They throw all their food away. Let's just have some rice and drink the night away. Brilliant. Okay, so they do. And they have a lovely evening. However, one very dishonorable guest oh decided god. to sneak a bit of the meat out of the trash and put it in his pocket. He then goes home drunk and falls asleep. He didn't eat it. But when he woke up the next morning, he checks his pockets and... <sighs> no! The delicious fish piece is gone! Turns out, in the night, his daughter had been rummaging around in his pockets looking for treasure. And she found the meat from his pocket. And she was such a greedy guts that she decided to eat it. Okay, this is the most ridiculous story ever. Is this the... Is this the... <laughs> I can't even say this. Is this is an is this an actual Asian like not Asian Japanese like legend or fantasy story or something? Because like what the fuck? Why would she? Why would she even rummage around his father's clothes for treasure? Okay. And she was such what a treasure? greedy guts that she decided to eat it then and, and there. And he was the father was terrified for oh his daughter, God. but she didn't seem to be sick. Do you feel weird at all? And it's shaking her. He decided not to tell her anything. Maybe it'll all be okay. Sure, right? However, from that day... F at least he was... At least he wasn't like, Why the fuck did you eat it, you piece of shit? No, he was like, oh, Are you alright at least? It's like... it's Maybe maybe it was like alcoholic to them. The daughter never aged. What? That's right. She remained a young adult forever. She eventually Bro, some black people marriage, do that for free. But as her husband got older, she stayed no, the old. same age. Eventually, her father got old and died. And soon enough, did her husband too. Everyone she ever knew was getting older and oh dying. Oh my but she god, the curse the of immortality. Age. Holy she was shit. Immortal. Eventually, at age 120, she decided to shave her head and become a Japanese nun. She traveled the country planting trees as she went and she did this for 800 years. Bro, they should have. They, everyone should have feasted on motherfucking face ass fish. But because this is like she amazing. She tired. You know what? I'm tired of living. Let's go get a side. She entered a go cave kill the Oh my god. Hometown no. Obama. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes. Of to course. To <laughs> never come out again. Like this story is she more ridiculous. And prayed for the curse to end, but it never did. She sat in that cave for so long. Oh my god. So it is a real fantasy story. Stone. So it probably happened like Noah. No, I live 900 years. At the Kuinji Temple in Obama remains the cave Kuinji, that right. Yao Bakuni entered. People have been. I love the fucking remains... symmetry of this. Look, look, the moon isn't like this. Is just not like two pieces. It's actually a semi like symmetrized. If you look from the middle, two moons. Oh, this is actually perfect. But why is it about one statue over there? Not one over there. It's the cave the army, that man. Yao Bakuni entered. People have been into that cave. That sounds to like check a name. Whether she's still in there, but nothing was found. However, a stone statue of her resides at the entrance, and colloquially, it is called the Bar Rock Obama. All right. So we're back with Hiroshi. He asked the Inuin Temple if he could borrow the Nino. Look, let me do a little CT scan on it, right? And they agreed. 
Hiroshi hands the Nino to a team of scientists and they get to work. They do their tests. Beep, beep, boop. It's Control a rock. Control plus in it. scan on it's the It's a keyboard. rock in it. And Come on. Here are the results. It's stage four cancer. <laughs> get the <Sorry>. fuck. <laughs> no, Can but you? really. Turns out the Nino dates back to the 1800s. The note that said it was from the 1700s was wrong. Its body is made from cloth and cotton, wrapped in pufferfish skin. The tail was made from a croaker. I don't know what that is. What is it? We okay. it on the screen. With the mouth of a different fish and the hair of a mammal. And they can see that there's a metal nail in its back. Oh my god, it's invented tools. I. The forensic analysis. What the f. So it's like a cursed doll. Someone made in the past to freak out the future generation because they know there will be idiots out there. Like some dude got really high or really drunk and thought of this. Probably, I'm just saying. Like someone would think of this to, to fuck up the future generations because like they would think it's fucking aliens or some shit. But again, that is a really creepy thing. Or maybe it was a being that like had cotton as a base. I mean, they tested, they needed to like do DNA tests. And the, the material tests material materials in its back did cast some doubt over its authenticity. Yeah. But you gotta believe in something, damn it. Aye. As promised, the Nino was returned to the Enuen Temple, where it still lives today. But where, oh where, did my mermaid go? Um, <gasps> that it's mermaid her. had your fucking You're face. Not. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? I, Be careful, dude. I kind of missed you. And to be fair, she's not a bad looking. Uh, it's a meme stuck with it. He's, she's, he's not a bad looking man with a little beard. Like, I'm what not. The uh, hell Jesus is that? Christ. Get out. <laughs> you know what? I never did find her again. I think these things are a bit <laughs> They can swim to you. Oh, no. There's a sequel. What the fuck is going on? We're here on the ancient streets of Cairo, and there is our destination. In these triangles, the greatest luxury that all the elites crave. Oh god, no, no not, not that. The, the second most thing. I need, I need the moment, mummies. I need the moment. Oh my god. You can find them in these two. Oh. There we go. Let's go right here. I need a second. Give me a second. All right. <coughs> Sorry, I had to turn off the oven. Three, two, one. The second most thing that mummies. You can oh. find them in these tombs, and there's only ever like one dude guarding them. <laughs> but before we take, we must understand. Jesus Christ! Mummification started over five thousand years ago, and they were first discovered by the Europeans in the fifteenth century. But the legend goes, the locals knew about them even earlier than that. It's an elaborate process, but essentially, you're drying the person out, turning them into a human salami. All right, so when the Europeans found all these mummies, what do you think they did? Autopsy? Uh, put it in a museum. Oh my god, right? of course. Wrong. What they did They do? used these mothers for everything. And everybody wanted them. What, what do you mean they used them for everything? Well... Fancy people would take whole mummies and show them off to their friends at fancy dinners. To really show- Isn't that like desecrating the dead? <laughs> Aren't laws against this? Can you just buy a corpse? Because it's a fucking corpse, isn't it? It's a corpse! Can you just buy a corpse and fuck around with it? Like show it to your friends and not cut its head off? Like because what the fuck, dude? Off the owner's wealth, they would sometimes unwrap them too. They were used as paint. They call this mummy brown, by the way. Uh, they were used as fertilizer. Oh man, talk about supercharging your soil. They were yeah. even consumed. Well, that's that's okay. To no, be fair, not like this. 
by grinding them up into powder and taking them like a herbal supplement. I want to read that article. By gr <laughs> grinding <laughs> them up into powder let's, and taking let's them let's like not, a herbal let's supplement. Let's not, let's not, I can't even read the title right. Mania. But with Jesus such high Christ. demand for your mom. Oh my fucking god, why do people do this? Why? It's a mo it's... This is probably gonna taste like chicken. Um, they or pork. Pork. More stock. like a strips of like no. dried up pork. They were becoming rarer and rarer to find. They were being gobbled off the face of the earth. Oh, so shit. the authorities passed a bunch of laws to protect mummies from becoming altogether extinct. <laughs> These are the what last the two of their species, and they're both male, but they won't mate. <laughs> no. That is just, that is so, uh, our, fuck me, that is so our shit post. it's not even funny, like, Jesus Christ, bro, oh my god, but here's the thing, they should start just mummifying new people, like, just let's put it as another option, and we just, you mummify you, and we just ship you to Egypt, and put you in, like, in a, a uh, what the fuck was what what was the geometry of the name of the geometry? Um uh, fuck oh, I but forgot. the mummy is much like the Tasmanian I could tiger. Say <laughs> Every once in a while, one will just kinda show up and prove that they're not altogether extinct. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's, the location that is so fucked in northwest Germany. We are at the Kettler household. Owned I, for my grand I forgot the geometry of the the, the thing <laughs> in English. That's so fucked up right now. You know, like my brain is thinking so hard, but it can't. What was it called? The pyramid. The pyramids. Oh my god, the pyramids. Stifles in northwest Germany. Dyfels. We are at the of course Kettler dying. household, owned by Grandfather Kettler, who is now dead. But the poor grandfather. Son, Lutz Kettler. And Lutz the Kettler also had a son, Lulz. Alexander Kettler. Oh, Lutz, and they are not both there at the house. What the fuck is that? After a rainy day, there was a leak in the roof. So 10-year-old Kettler gets up into the attic to explore. You know, have a bit of a look around. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Old antiques. So I wish he animated the the, the 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 thing to like a spin because it's like come on to explore. You know, have a bit of a look around. That There's would take. Okay, that would that would be stuff in there. Too hard. Old antiques, photographs, and oh, some old roof tiles. Those oh, will be shit. useful. So he goes over to the roof tiles and hmm, behind them is something strange. What a box. Oh my and god, is that a coffin? Now the kid is smart and he's seen Jumanji, so he knows not to touch the oh, person and shit. Kid, go tell his dad. Now the dad drags the box into the center of the room. And he opens it. Necronomicon. What? A smaller box. But it's very curious because it is covered Ooh. in hieroglyphs. So Lutz crosses his fingers, hoping nothing supernatural will happen. Or, you know, a disease that could wipe you out. And he opens the inner box. Inside... It's is a, a mummy. mummy! Oh my god. But there's more. There's also two smaller boxes. One contained a death mask, and the other a canopic jar. Can someone be more lucky in the human life? What the fuck? Like, this is the coolest find in the world, man. Even if you can't sell it, this is like, I would just like to have one of those. Just like to hold it around and fuck around with it. Like, you know, just just put it somewhere and like take a picture of it like, and from different angles and then model it. And then mod it in the game. All right, so we might have a dead body in the house now. So naturally, he calls the authorities. The police show up and ask some questions. Lutz then explains a little bit of backstory. What? He remembers that in the 1950s, his father went to Derna in Libya. There, he acquired a chest and had it shipped Yo. back home. He remembers a conversation about it, but Grandfather Kettler insisted that it was a replica. Das ist ein 
replica, son, son, son. Not a real mummified person. Now, at this right. point, the police did not think it was a real body, but it was worth getting it scanned just in case. Yeah. So he loaded it up in his station wagon, and off he went to the Berlin Archaeological ha. Institute. Mm. Now, they agreed to do a scan, and so they're fiddling with buttons. And Maybe test it for, you know, any metal and before you do that. And stuff, and it's fake, right? It's fake? Well, here's where things get a little more dramatic. Could this be fake? Results inconclusive. The fucked up thing is it has a skeleton, so it's not fake. As, as long as... Why would someone replicate a skeleton? And how? There is a fully formed skeleton here. Now that is unusual for a fake. Often a fake will just be shaped like a person, yeah. and then filled with sticks and cloth and rubbish. However, it got even stranger. They found that all of the bones were wrapped in some sort of metal plating or foil. I Next, they looked at the skull, and that's where things were the <laughs> right, most no. odd. It was very realistic. Its teeth had roots. Its form was more intricate than the typical fake. Oh, Kaiku was right. Long, Sometimes the fucking fake is more real more than notably, the real. There was an arrowhead lodged that's in the eye socket. Far value. Now oh, that shit. is very unusual for a fake. This is weird. Hold on, I got more evidence to do. So they're doing more tests and stuff. All right, we've carbon I love tested. That. I the fucking love so that. So they're doing more tests and stuff. <laughs> that's All so right, good. We've carbon tested the linen wraps. What's the verdict? Well, those are from the 1900s. Now the plot is thickening. We have a supposed fake mum. So wait a second, fake gay. What gay? <laughs> Question though, so someone was mummified in the 1900s, me, but with a very realistic Some, so this skull, is like a very... perhaps murdered by an arrow to the head and bandages that date to the modern day. Yeah, that presents a new problem because it's murder. not unheard of for people to do a murder in the modern day and then cover things up by disguising the body as an ancient artifact. For example, in the year. That is so fucking sick, though. That is so metal. I wish my body would become a mummy. But again, rather than becoming an Easter egg in someone's house, it's, it's fucked up. That, that's actually a very, very convincing way of murdering someone. I wish this wouldn't be revealed, because this is just, everyone's gonna just kill everyone now. This is so fucking weird. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair. You have to get get the equipment. You have to have a sarcophagus, and you have to have those faces, those boxes, and those. Oh my god! Probably not, it's it's not possible to do that now. So please, murderers, chill. Two thousand. There was a please. man who claimed he found the mummy of an ancient Persian princess, the daughter of Xerxes. However, when they examined the body, they found it was in fact a potential murder victim from 1996 who died from bludgeoning. All right, so the police now oh actually have to get All right. involved. Yeah. And it's about to get even more complicated. So they confiscate the body and they do their own tests. And the results this time say, nope, this thing is 2,000 years old. It's not fake at all. It's ancient. What? Then wh who the fuck is right then? Okay, maybe the fucking cotton that they had was invented somewhere before. You don't always have the same fucking cotton always had the moment it happened in 2000s. Maybe it happened in 1900s, not 2000s. Maybe it was like something invented by like 700s and, and it was imported to Egypt or to whoever, wherever this was like mummified. So eventually the experts all get together and go, okay, this is dumb. Let's take it to Eppendorf University and have it properly tested Eppendorf. and not just tested. Crack Eppie the thing Pen. open like a delicious kinder surprise. Inventors. So this new set of experts gets to work. And when they open up the mummy. All right. Remember how we said that the Boom. bones were covered in a special type of foil or metal plating? All right. Well, it turns out the scientists didn't quite get that right. Instead, the bones were sprayed with a metallic chemical that prevented x-rays from going through. The bones were made from plastic. Oh least, my god. The body was. Turns out, the skull is real. Yes, a real skull, and not from an ancient mummy, but from a 20th century man. However, it was not a murder. 
This skull is from a cadaver, and it was medically prepared for educational purposes. Oh my god, and this is even that? worse! Well, it turns out that that's from a children's toy. Someone just popped that in the eye socket as a joke. So finally, the mystery was That's solved. a very, very nice prop, though. That's a nice prop for someone who just was, like, trying to sell a replica. Like, again, people go far to make a replica, but again, it's, 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 it's just cheap, a cheap plastic bullshit. skeleton with a real dead guy. Yeah, grandpa wasn't wrong. Wait, how does that solve the mystery? Anyway, so Lutz was satisfied that the whole thing was fake and not a murder victim. Oh, let's put that back in the attic. He said <laughs> very Germanly. But then, ah, eine bitte? Was ist das? He says. What is was is das? Oh the my book god. Of the dead? Well, that sounds like a fun read. It's so Lutz starts reading the ancient Egyptian out loud. Anaxunamun, Emoter. Oh, fuck you. Aiden Fraser. Aiden Fraser. Will shock you. What the fuck? Jesus. Look behind you. I said look behind you. Oh my god, that PT photo. Hey there, champ. You're probably up, wondering park, why champ? I'm out here on this park bench. <laughs> Sometimes I just come to see the old. Oh, bro, park. looking at that fucking. Like, look at those orange, dry orange park leaves. <laughs> Don't you just wanna, like, run? Just run toward them. Oh my god, why is my voice so loud all of a sudden? Holy shit. Why, why didn't, <laughs> didn't they just run and crank up all of a sudden? Like, holy shit. It's, it seems like the fall is always the best season for that. It's like you walk around, oh my god, you see a row of them and you just crunch, crunch, crunch. Love them. Sometimes I just come to see the Jesus. autumn leaves. Winter will be here soon. Throw a Dust dog or two in the and let them walk too. Truth is, sport. So satisfying. I have a highly, highly contagious respiratory disease. What? I won't be around much longer. What's wrong? Dust in the wind. Jesus. I'm like Willy Wonka from that movie. And you're like that? Billy and the Chocolate Factory. Billy Wonka Billy? movie. Who gets all his stuff. I think it's not Billy. Charlie. Or the Oompa Loompa. I don't know. I haven't seen it. The point is you're so close to being fancy. I can feel it. There's just one lesson left to learn. <coughs> anyway, speaking of ancient Egypt, here's this ancient You should Egyptian get that checked, gun. baby. And Franz Ferdinand. What? What are you doing here? What? Of course, he's not the real Franz Ferdinand. He's a mummy. Now, the thing about the ancient Egyptian gun is that it's very sense- Oh, the Ferdinand had blood, the mummy! You killed someone! I hear your congratulations for being somewhat fancy cake. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ferdinand. We've got to clean this up before the Park Services Commission hears about this, and they make another complaint. What the fuck is right, wrong with that cake? with the series, and then it's back to the usual content. So in case you missed it, there's also drinking on incognito a new story mode out next week and if you like fancy that's great but if you don't like fancy don't worry it's not forever Ooh, goodbye what the fuck don't forget nordvpn there. nordvpn.com slash internet story huge deal on a two-year plan you'll love it brought to you by nordvpn all right all right wait okay this is happening Again, okay, that that makes more sense than my brain thinking. What the fuck? But yeah, so is it real? I really, I really, really, really wish that um, that one was real. Like hold the shit because it just seems unfair and it isn't. It looks so cool though. Like the box, the like the mask, and then the, the little thingy that like it has souls of things. Bro, one important detail though, I see sometimes my voice going to, to act extreme red. I think Windows 11 is like putting some weird thing on my sound. So I'm really sorry about this. Um, if, if you s hear a lot of clipping, just lower the volume. It's going to normalize anyway, so it's not going to matter that much. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And for now, have a nice and goodbye. I'm going to upload this 48 hour plus. Uh, after the initial 
upload up internet. So see you all later.